Can I get a little dance? <laughs> Can I get an over the shoulder? Thank you so much. And this this gentleman right here on the other Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Anne. We're here with Amazon Social. Thank you so much for speaking with oh, us. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's the closing night of South by Southwest. Yes. Can you your movie? How excited are you? I'm really, really happy and really excited. And, you know, just showing up and seeing all the fan love for the movie, it means the world. I think you got some friendship bracelets. I got friendship bracelets. I'm so thrilled. I know I haven't gotten to, I, I haven't got a chance to look at them yet, but I saw some August Moon and some different things. So that's exciting. Relationships, older women, younger men, and the stereotype. Tell me, what do you want people to feel when they watch this movie? See, that's so funny because I never thought of the movie. <laughs> the movie as being about anything other than a woman's sexual awakening, and I always thought about it as being uh, about what it takes to define happiness for yourself and what it means to kind of step boldly into love after having your heart broken. So the movie talks about a lot of things and definitely what you describe, that's an aspect of it. But if anything, I think it asks the questions of why, are, why do we keep our mouths shut about some things but feel comfortable criticizing other things. Mm, yes, and you're just telling a story of romance. Yeah. My question for you, Nan, is like, why was this the perfect movie for you at the perfect time? Oh, her character is so richly drawn, and she has a depth of experience that, as I can vouch for it, only comes with uh, being alive for longer than five minutes. And Or maybe it's not, maybe I have only been alive for five minutes, I'm not sure. But anyway, she has a perspective. She's out of that kind of frenzied time in your life where you're asking, who am I, and is this all going to work, and all of those things. She's actually answered a lot of questions for herself, and she's living her life. And then the last thing she expects, walks through the door and uh, turns out a little bit of fun turns into a lot of love. Hi Nick, how's it going? It's great. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I mean the turnout here is uh, Incredible, very overwhelming in like the best possible way. So I'm like really thankful that people showed up. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people over there screaming. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. It's great. So uh, tell me, how are you enjoying your time in Austin so far? What's it like being at South by? I'm loving it. I mean, I, I was so sad I didn't get to come uh, last year with Bottoms because you know I love that movie as well. But so so this feels like um, I, I've kind of come full circle a year later. Um, so proud of this movie, so proud of everyone in the movie, so um, it, it's a joy to be able to really celebrate it. Yeah, it tackles some interesting topics, stereotypes of, you know, older men dating younger women being okay, but not about yeah. older women. So, you know, what do you want audiences to take away from watching this film? I mean, I, I think it's multifaceted. I think, you know, there's some people who are just going to enjoy how uh, amazingly fun this movie is, and, and I think the, the beautiful relationship between these, these two wonderful characters in Hayes and Selene, but I, I think you're, you're totally right. We're also trying to um, cast the light on the sort of existing misogyny and, and, and sexism in, in society and, and, and our industry as a, as a whole as well. So, yeah. There's a lot of amazing music in this movie. Do you yeah. have a favorite August Moon song yet? Oh, God, that's so hard. I, I, have a, I have a soft spot for Guard Down, which I don't know if people have heard yet, but um, they're, they're all so great in their own way. It's like, it's like choosing between my children. I can't, uh, I can't pick. Oh my god, that's a really great question. Um, okay, I, I, I want to go for like a, a like a, a Fleetwood Mac style thing. So I think I would choose Rene Rapp, great voice. I would choose, uh, who's a great guitarist? Do they have to all be, oh, here's this, look at this guy. This is the man responsible for all the good music that we were just talking about. Good to see you, man. I'll catch up with you in there. I don't know. I mean, there's so many good bands. This is an impossible question. I have too many thoughts lying through my head. But um, just a collection of amazing artists. How about that? Hey, there's a lot of good people. To there's so many good people. It's a hard right? question. I totally, like, I totally it's like asking what your favorite movie is. You've, you've stumped me. I, too many? I too many. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank you. the time to speak with Thank you. Really Lovely talking have to you. Tonight. Thank you. At South by Southwest, it's the closing night. You're a producer. 
put on this film. Yes, How yes. How excited are you to be here tonight? I am thrilled. This has been like a seven year journey and I'm over the moon, literally over the moon for August Moon. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to see it with an audience. That's yeah. talking about the stereotypes of older men dating younger women, yeah. older women dating younger men. Why was this a, such an important story for you to tell? Because I live it. Um, my husband's uh, nine years younger than I am. Um, and being in kind of a, a, a relationship that's under the spotlight and uh, people tell you all the time what you deserve as a woman, what you should want as a woman. Um, they, they would like to police your, your sensuality, your sexuality, your identity. Um, I wanted to explore that and especially to be able to explore that with Annie um, and Nicholas, that's a dream. And Michael Showalter, that's, I mean, that, it doesn't really get much better. Than, and, this was, and this was literally our first project, uh, my production company, you know, optioned and worked on. And it's a book by one of my closest friends, uh, Robin Lee. So it's very exciting. Oh my gosh, so it's yeah. like beginning to end, really, really to your heart. Very important, yes. So yes, what yes. do you want audiences to feel after they watch this movie? Oh gosh, I hope your heart swells. I hope you have fun. I hope you lean into the romance. Um, yeah, I, I want you to have a great time. I want you to leave the theater like feeling better than when you entered it. Yeah. Okay, you have to pick just one favorite August Moon song. I'm not, that's, no. That's Sophie's choice and I'm not doing it. I love them all. I love them all. I love our music supervisor, wherever he is. Hey, who knows, maybe there's a Grammy for August Moon someday. I'm ready for the tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there anything else you want people to know about this movie that's important to you, the story of um, it? You know what, well, what drew me to the book, Idea of You, um, I first met uh, the author, Robin Lee, when we were playing sisters in a movie called Deliver Us From Eva, and we bonded over our love of boy bands. She was all into New Kids on the Block, and I was all into uh, uh, New Edition, and we would like regal each other with like tales of like how we slept out for tickets and whatnot. So to kind of see this come full circle 20, almost 25 years later is wild and so awesome, and also a testament to how much we love boy bands. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. We're here last night at South by in Austin, Texas. Yeah. How excited are you to be premiering this film? I love it. This is probably my favorite film festival. There's just so much going on. The, the city is just so inviting and everything. This, and that rock and roll vibe. It feels this, like this is the place for this movie. Very cool. Heck yeah. Speaking yeah. of rock and roll, the music in this movie is amazing. Do you have a favorite August Moon song? Oh my God. I don't know, but they, they have to actually make this band now. It's clear, right? This has to be a real band. They really need to go on tour. Nick needs to head it up. They did a, It's an amazing job. I, I, I was really blown away by the music. I see Grammys in their future, maybe. Kind of, yeah, no joke. Okay, this is an amazing cast and crew. What was it like working with Anne Hathaway and director Mike Cole? Oh, it was a blast. It was a blast. I, I'd been stalking Michael for years, and he and I have been trying to figure out something to do together. I'm so happy this worked out. And Annie is just the warmest, sweetest, just so nurturing on set. She really cares. She works so hard. We had such wonderful conversations about our characters. And it was just really fun to just dig in and, and do the work with someone like her. I, I really, really enjoyed it. It's amazing. Yeah. And, okay, last thing. What do you want the audience to take away from this film? I hope they, they recognize this film for what it is, which is just a well-crafted bit of cinema that doesn't, we don't see this kind of movie a lot anymore. You know, everything's gotten so big. I love that a movie like this, which is, you know, pretty sprawling in, in, in terms of like where they got to shoot and, and, and the breadth of their, the adventure of our main couple here. But at its center, it's a small movie with a lot of heart. And I think that's why, you know, South By, again, it feels like a festival film, but I think it's going to reach a massive audience. I'm really excited for people to see it. Amazing. Back yeah. to dialogue and conversation. Exactly right. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for you speaking with us, Reed. Sure. We appreciate it. Nice to meet you, too. How are you doing? It's the last night of South by Southwest yeah. in Austin, Texas. How are you feeling? I'm sure you've been crazed. I mean, I just got, I got here like yesterday, and so it's just been really lovely. Everyone here is so kind, and um, I've never been to a festival at all, and I think this being my first one, it, it feels really, I mean, lucky and incredible and I'm so grateful and also it's just like I think a, the perfect festival to kind of be at for the first time ever it's just like a very cool environment so I'm just like trying not to throw up and stuff you know I get it. I get it. <laughs> speaking of cool environment
environment, your cast, your crew, the director Michael. What was it like working with everyone? Oh my God, it was amazing. It was. I'd been a huge fan, and you sometimes you lie about this, but really, truly, I've been a huge fan of all of these people forever, and so it was just. I really just kept pinching myself. Like, I, Michael was one of my comedy heroes growing up, and Annie was like my favorite. My favorite actress. Everyone's favorite actress. She was my favorite, and I just like every day, whatever the day brought, I just like could kind of I could go home just feeling really great because I got to do this job that I I, I was just I was dying to do, and so I just yeah, it was it was wonderful. Oh, there's a lot of amazing music in this movie. Yeah. Do you have a favorite August Moon song? Ooh, am I allowed to say the other ones that haven't come out yet? I think so. Okay, okay, okay. Um, oh my god, they're all so good. I mean, you know what? Also, dance before we walk. It's a classic. It's like it's stuck in everybody's head. You know, it's yeah. Do you have a have you heard them? Have you seen I them yet? That one. Okay, I nice, nice, nice. It's fun, I right? Too. I know they did yeah. such a good job. Like, oh hey, sorry, <laughs> I've never done this before. Um, but uh, yeah, that's a, it's the music in it is. I saw the movie for the first time like a year ago. And I was so taken aback by how great the music fit into the whole thing. It was awesome. Okay, you can pick three of your favorite people in the world, anyone in the world to be in a band with. Oh my God. Who's gonna be in your band? That's such a good question. I um, I'm gonna regret whatever I say. There's gonna be three people. Do I? Do I have to know them personally? No. Oh my God. Dead or alive? Sure. Shit. Um. <laughs> honestly, my mom. Uh. Oh my God. My mom and Brett, my publicist, <laughs> and and you, you seem so wonderful. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll I'll text you. Okay, okay, great. Oh my God, that's a question. I'm actually gonna think about that for real for later because I want to know. Okay, I'm gonna hit you up. Okay. Yeah, I will. We'll redo that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're lovely. Thank you. Me. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Good luck. Have so much fun Thank you so much. Have You're such welcome. a good night. Hi, Michael. How's it going? Yes, come Hi. over to talk to us. We're here right. with Amazon Social oh, and great. PR. Awesome. So thank you so much for having us out. We're here last night at South by Southwest. How are you feeling? Excited to be here? Very excited. So excited. So excited to see it on a big screen with a big audience. We have a lot of our cast and crew here and a bunch of our collaborators at Amazon. And so it's just, it's a dream come true to be able to watch the movie like this. Yeah. What Can't wait. Like working with this cast and crew? We had so, fun, so much fun. Um, we just had a great time being together, making a film about these characters. We really bonded together. It was really fun. Yeah, the movie Yeah. Older men dating younger women, and it's okay, but then when yes, we do I think it's terrible. We have a, a double standard um, where we judge different situations differently, and I hope people see this movie and think about that. Yeah, what do you want people to feel when they walk away from this? Well, I want them to be entertained. I want them to have enjoyed this journey that they take with these characters. And, but yeah, well, I think that, that the movie does explore a double standard that we have in our society. And I think you could extend that to all sorts of things. And I just want people to celebrate each other and uplift each other and celebrate differences and celebrate um, the ways in which we're different rather than to be afraid of that. Love that, love that. Yes. Okay, last fun question. Okay. What's your favorite August Moon song? Oh boy. Well, I was actually, as I was just Walking over to you, I was humming Dance Before We Walk in my head. I can't get it out of my head, so I'll say Dance Before We Walk. Agreed, it's so catchy. I was yes. listening to it before this. Thank you so Thank much. You so much yes, for appreciate with us. it. Thank you. Hello, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm so happy to be here. We're finally premiering the movie, and I'm so glad it's at South by. Why South by? What makes oh. this festival? The audience, just the audience, and just a sense of joy and pleasure that's here. The last time I premiered a movie here was so long ago. It was Bernie, which was a Rick Linklater movie, and he's from here. So I had like the best time, and I'm really happy to be back. So this story tackles some pretty interesting topics: older women dating younger men, and the stereotypes of that. Why was it important to tell this story? 
Well, you know, I was the first to read this book and to develop this in-house, and I just had this sense that the fact that I was still so kind of surprised to read a romantic story about an older woman and a younger man that I was almost like embarrassed a little bit. I was like, why am I still feeling like this? It's 2020 when this happened, or maybe it was 2019. And I felt like if I'm still thinking that this is worthy of, you know, discussing and, you know, confronting the double standard, then I need to bring it to audiences everywhere. And that was kind of the generation of it all. And I decided to option the book and start the whole process. And now here we are all these years later, which is really exciting. Amazing. What do you want audiences to take away after watching this movie? I just want women particularly to believe that anything's possible, that life after divorce is possible, that passion is true at any age, that love comes in unusual, you know, ways and and I and, and in usual places and just that, you know, never to kind of give up and think that it's not worth the risk, you know, because it takes a lot of courage to have your heart broken or potentially have your heart broken. And once you've done it once, it's a little hard to go back to it, but it's always worth it, you know. This movie has amazing music. Do you have a favorite August Moon song yet? Oh my God, um, probably Dance Before We Walk. And you know, I felt it was really important to work with Sav and Katecha. I've known him for very long. I was the first person I called after I read the book to say like, we should write some serious music for a boy band. And he's like, I was like, let's make it like One Direction, but modern too, and I think he really hit it. And we said, you have to write five hit songs, and he did. So there we go. I mean, it must be Annie. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate oh, so it. Happy to be here. Thanks for having us. Okay. We're at South by. Oh my it's God. the last night, the closing film. I know. How excited are you? I am so excited. I'm like out of control excited. This is my favorite festival and just being here is so fun. And Why is this your favorite festival? I mean, Mike and I premiered our first movie that we did together many years ago here called Hello, My Name is Doris. And it was like just one of the best experiences in this theater. And so anytime that we get invited back, it's like a dream. So right, this we'll is really special. Yeah. 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 So this story, it takes some, tackles some uh, important issues. Yeah. You know, stereotypes yes. men and women. Yes. Why is this an important story to tell? I mean, I think that we see movies all the time with older men and younger women, and no one bats an eye, and I don't think there should be any reason that we can't see the other side of it. And I feel like that's really important. And also seeing a woman with such an amazing full life and friends and a family and all this stuff get to still have this experience is really really special. Yes. The cast and crew of this movie is incredible. What was it like working with everything? I mean, it's like a dream. Anne, Anne was, you know, attached when we came on board and seeing this person give their all, like, makes everybody else want to do that too. And every casting member was like, brought something else really special to the table. And it was really great. Yeah. Okay. Have the favorite August Moon song. Oh my yes. god. I hear the music's amazing. I know. I mean, right now, the song that's in the trailer, Dance Before You Walk, has been like in my head nonstop. And I was like getting ready tonight and I was singing it. And like, so I feel like right now that's it. But it, you know, changes with the mood. You'll see the movie and you'll have, you'll have your own favorite. Okay, yes. That, yes. Yeah, I need that ballad. Yes. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll get it. You'll get it. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Audio tip. We're going, we're going. Hi, Mr. House Crew. This is Raymond. House Crew, what's up? Hello. Good, good. We're at the last night of South by Southwest. Yes, we are. Premiering the idea of you. How are you feeling tonight? Uh, I'm buzzing. You know, this is this is so much fun. I've never been here before, um, so that's exciting. And then also just to be to be closing the show. I mean, it's 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 an honor. Yeah. And also, I mean, hearing a lot of the fans over the the trailer has been exciting. So all good news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, we were listening to it nonstop, so it's it's exciting to finally let the world hear it. Do you have a favorite August Moon song yet? Um, Guard Down, I would say, probably. So tell me about the process of making the music, you know, what was uh, so cool about it? 
I think the, the the process of just like building the band was was also just uh, so special. Um, you know, we were all just in rehearsal rooms for hours on end, and and it, it really built a you know camaraderie and chemistry that hopefully the the audience can register in the in the viewing. Yeah. yeah you really Absolutely, yeah. You, you, you bond quickly when you look like a fool. So um, that's what we did. And thanks to Danny Vitali, our, our wonderful choreographer. Um, she really created a, a wonderful safe space for us all. Did you have any dance experience before? Yes, I, I had plenty of dance experience. Never danced with Danny um, or with these, these boys, but um, you know, it, it was a, a lovely time. Um, it was intimidating, as it always is, I think. Um, Michael's just so lovely and, and uh, also creates a very wonderful safe space that, that allows you to create and, and, and think on your feet, and he really opens the floor for your, your, your choices. Um, and yeah, it was a dream. What do you yeah. hope people feel when they walk away after watching this movie? I hope people just have a really good time. Um, I hope they laugh. I hope they fall in love with these, these two characters. I hope they um, believe in their love, believe in how messy it can be, how it can always be. It doesn't have to just be like a young story that, that can be a messy love. It can be a messy love uh, whenever. Um, and then I just hope that they dance, yeah. Okay, you could make a super band. Anyone in the world gets to pick three people. Who are you calling oh, man. first? Okay, three people. First person to come in my head was uh, George Harrison, and then I'm thinking Frank Ocean, um, and then for my friends, I'm gonna say Playboy Cardi. There we go. Hey, <laughs> Camera band, guy's giving me what this would side. Your band name be? <laughs> oh, I'm not that good. I can't. I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. Was there anything else you want audiences to know about the movie? Um, no. Just watch it. Just watch it. Have a good time. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for speaking you. with us. We yeah, appreciate it. Well, we're hey. here with uh, Amazon Social and PR. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Of course, of course. Happy Do you to be have here. Do you favorite song from this movie yet? Um, or one that particularly is like a soft spot in your heart? I, the idea of you. The final song. Why? That, Tell me more. It just summarizes the love story. Um, and Nick killed the vocals. It's so good. Um, so yeah, it's just it, it just comes at the perfect moment at the end. Yeah. How I love it. Yeah. How do you tackle that creative process? I kind of tackle it. I get to I read the script and I get to know the character a little bit, just like I would approach any other artist I work with. Um, and I treat the character as like a real person and the band as like a real artist and go, okay, like this is what I have to work with. And I take it from there, you know, just build what I what I envision it to be. Did you pull any inspiration from uh, well, I've worked with boy bands a lot historically, so <laughs> it's sort of my bag. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did a lot of that, and it's a lot of inspiration from the story. And you also, you know, when you have a great voice like Nick's to work with, you can sort of adapt everything to, to his sort of tone. Um, and his, his voice is incredible, so it was a nice, like, sandbox to play in. If you can make a super bass, any musician, any person really in the world, oh my God. who would you pick? Who were you enlisting for? Like a band band or like vocal? Like you want it to be. Okay. I would do Timberlake. I would do Brian Luttrell from Backstreet. I would do Wanya Morris and Boys to Men. And who else would I do? Brian McKnight, probably. That's like the Avengers. Yeah. Hopefully they'll walk away singing the songs, <laughs> um, and you know, we're, you know, the music is real, and it, and, it, and um, I hope it touches them and it links them to the story, and because um, it's a beautiful story and a beautiful movie, so I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you so much for of course, with us. we really appreciate it. Yeah.